going on YouTube? Uh, it's shaving in lines then again. Today I'm going to do a review and talk about my shave this morning. Um, of course the review is going to be over Crown King, Rustler's Ridge. Um, a little bit about Crown King. Crown King is a branch off company, or is that if that's how you want to put it, to Douglas Smythe and Francis uh Tally, I think that's how you say it. I know I've heard it pronounced a million different ways. Sorry, Fran, if I uh, pronounce it wrong. But um, it's a branch off company from those two. Um, whether you want to call it the budget line or the mainstream line, I guess, I, I don't know. Um, but they're kind of working on different kind of formulas and uh, offering it in a four ounce tub. Of course, I'll be talking about that in the review. But um, this one today is Rustler's Ridge. Now a little bit about the shave this morning so you guys know um, what I was using, you know, whether you want to base it off of that. Of course, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Joey Gabbert. Uh, he sent me this awesome vintage brush that was re by him with a 24 millimeter synthetic. I used this this morning. Thank you, Joey. I really appreciate it. Um, he said I was missing something out of my den tour that I did and... Uh, he sent me this, and uh, it really touched me. I really appreciate it, Joey. It uh, means the world to me. Um, and then also I use the Matador. I don't know if you guys can see. Probably upside down. The Matador Toro Mastiff, the aggressive head from um, Razor Blades and more. So anyways, that was what I used this morning. Um, of course, with my uh, Crown King pre-shave jelly, and then I also use the uh, Rustler's Ridge Aftershave Splash. And I'll talk about a, a little bit about that here in a second. Um, but anyways, to start on with the review, shipping and packaging. So as soon as I ordered this, literally within a couple hours, I got a shipping confirmation from uh, Douglas and Fran. Uh, so, of course, everybody loves getting their stuff shipped as fast as possible, so... Awesome job, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, shipping and packaging. Uh, when I got it, I received it, I think, the third day. So two days shipping. Um, fast as hell. When it comes packaged, all of, like, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and then Crown King, everything comes immaculately packaged. You know, it's all wrapped in bubble wrap um, to keep it safe. Um everything's wrapped just in my honest opinion it's it's genius you know it's i've never had anything come dented or anything come broken or anything like that from uh phoenix or crown king so good job on the packaging of course it's in a plastic four ounce tin you can see that it's a screw lid all right there you see the soap it's still kind of a little wet from this morning but um <clears throat> now the only thing, I don't know if I ripped it off on accident. You see where I ripped off the ingredients. Um, the only thing, just like with uh, the last review on Tim's soaps, I don't see on the side maybe the, the scent profile. And this that's just on me, guys. I mean, I, I've heard other people say it too, but I really like to see the scent on the side because, like I said, if it's sitting up in a den or if it's sitting... I don't know, stacked or whatever, you know, I'd like to be able to pull it if I want to use it. Um, but packaging all around, it's awesome. I love what they're doing here. If you guys can see that, I mean, it just looks great, you know. And then I love on the side, this is one of my favorite parts, made with pride in Arizona, USA. Can't get any better than that, you know, USA product amazing stuff and then they got some other things on here like this so on overall packaging and shipping i'm gonna give them a 10 um i love this stuff um the packaging and everything that comes along with it now price per ounce um your price per ounce it's a four ounce tub like i've stated many times it's going to be 373 an ounce okay not the lowest not the highest Definitely not a deal breaker. I love all of Phoenix's stuff, and now I'm starting to love all of the Crown King stuff. This is the only one I currently own from Crown King. I'm hoping to get more. Um, I just got to kind of budget everything out and then what you guys want to see also. So like I said, it's 373 an ounce, so I'm going to go ahead and give them a 9 on that. 
Um, customer service rating, I have no problems ever with Phoenix or Crown King, so I'm going to give them a 10. Um, now, the scent description. All right, guys, so this is something that I was recommended to tell or talk about with um, the scent description, how the artisan explains it, and do I think it's good. Okay, so I'm going to read it off their website real quick, and then... I'm going to tell you what I think about it. So the scent of Rustler's Ridge is based on a seasonal summer smell I picked up in the wind recently in Tombstone, Arizona. A woodsy breeze whispering and whistling through the, the shutters and claptrap of the preserved ghost town, kicking up dust devils and sending me back in time. A timeless, whimsical, wild western scent, aromatic and heavenly. Top notes, vanilla, ozone, prickly pear, heart notes, sage uh, and musk, and base notes, spruce and cedar. So... Do I think the website does the scent justice? Absolutely. Um, if you go on and you read a lot of Phoenix's stuff and then Crown King stuff, of course it's got like a story behind it. Some people don't like that. I know uh, Christopher Bailey, you know, he says he just get to the point. That's what I want. On some, I can understand that. Um, I really like the way they display and try to sell the product i really like that i think they do an outstanding job on that so again i don't see a lot of it around so i'm going to give them a 10 on that i really enjoy how they how they dis describe the product and kind of give it like a story of how they came up with the scent i think that's awesome that you know he goes out to certain locations and he gets a whiff of something whether it be good or bad um and he goes with it from there so, like I said, I'm going to give them a 10 on that. The st scent description. Quality of scent, I love it. It's a 10 in my book. It's definitely a keeper, especially with the aftershave splash. I'm. It's going to be a reorder for me, okay? Now, scent strength. Out of the tub, I'm going to say it's a 7, okay? Lathered, of course, it's going to be a little higher because you bloom it. You know, you, you're rustling up those essential oils and fragrance oils, so I'm going to give it an 8, okay? Um, scent dissipation. This is... A shiner you know in my eyes so I shaved with it and I kept getting that whiff you know of course you're gonna get a whiff out of the brush and, and everything like that but you know I was rinsing putting my alum on uh, I even put on the soap commander bomb and I could still get the whiff of wrestlers Ridge in, in my nose in my sniffer so uh, I'm gonna give them a nine on the scent dissipation I love how long it lasts performance no issues again slickness glide cushion all of PAA stuff and uh, the one that I've tried from Crown King, I've had no issues with, um, especially on like the second and the third pass because, you know, of course the slickness is going to get better and better. Um, so I'm going to give them a 10 on that. Post shave feel um, with out bomb or without aftershave splash. Okay, so this is their new formula. Um, Coke and butter, you know, they have avocado oil in it. Um, I ripped off the label on accident, so that's on me. But um, Poche Fuel was amazing, you know, without the bomb or without the, the splash. Um, I'm going to give them a 9 on that. I had no issues whatsoever. Again, I have no issues. Now, another question people have been asking me is, does it come with a ma matching af aftershave or bomb? Of course it does. It comes with an aftershave splash, just like I talked about. And, man, this is another one of Douglas's and Fran's just masterpieces. Stays around amazing scent um i could still get it and the poche feel and everything is just top notch and with the aftershave i'm going to give the aftershave a 10 also okay now again i'm not going to start saying in my reviews hey i do i recommend this product or do i not but douglas knows how i feel about it um i love it it's a winner it's going to be a keeper in my in my den definitely so Again, guys, that's the Crown King Wrestler's Ridge shaving review, shaving soap review. So I would definitely check it out. Um, I really want to try their uh, Aqua Velva scent, or actually, you know, I, I can't remember the name of it, but um, the reminiscent Aqua Velva scent um, that they have, I really want to try that. So, guys, this is uh, going long enough, so check out you know crown king shaving i'm gonna go ahead and post their link below in the description also tag douglas and fran 
And anybody who wants to check this out, I really appreciate you guys watching another video by me. Um, more reviews on the way. I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you guys had a great shave. And definitely God bless.